And it really is a city that loves its football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester. And it's a real pleasure to be here tonight at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. Number 7, Cristiano Ronaldo. And number 24... The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Marcus Rashford starts with Jadon Sancho on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. Good looking sequence. Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. And it's played into the center, foiling them effectively. Kai Havertz. Werner with it now. Mount. And far from textbook defending. There it is, the opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the game has restarted and Chelsea are the team with the lead. Nice switch of play. Bruno Fernandes. Playing advantage here. United keep it. Very really good reading of the game to win possession back. Room to roam for Chelsea on the wing. And he favours the inside route. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Fred. Here is Fred. And Rashford. Rafael Varane, Cristiano Ronaldo. Jorginho, Conte now. Jorginho, N'Golo Conte. Here's Mount, and back with Mount. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. 
And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Oh, good strike! Oh, brilliant technique. I'm not sure about you, Stuarts, but I thought that was going in. Well, so did I, but in the end, it comes to nothing. But what a great strike it was. It was hit so sweetly. Bruno Fernandes. It's with McTominay. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. And there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Jorginho Mount Oh dear, not a great effort was it? Well, we're on the cusp of the half-time interval with United narrowly behind. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first 45? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Attending to his defensive chores. Kai Havertz. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Havertz. A really sumptuous ball. Problem not completely solved. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, quite frankly, it's been a struggle for Cristiano Ronaldo, not having anything like the impact we would expect from a player of his calibre, Stuart. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself, but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? So back in business here, and Chelsea dominating the proceedings in the first half of this game. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? Christensen. And Goro Conte. Now with Jorginho. 
Went in strongly, decisively. Sancho. And they find a gap in the defence. Good pressure high up the pitch. How could he take them on and beat them? Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Ronaldo. Cuts it back. In search of space. Brilliantly blocked. Now that's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now, how about the short corner? And Ronaldo prepared to fire. And it's come off the keeper. Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. What can they do from here? Sancho. On to Ronaldo. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Well, racing past his man. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. Thumped clear. Could be a chance to break here. Mount. And space to exploit, maybe. Lukaku. An alert piece of defending. Bruno Fernandes. Fred. Marcus Rashford. Fred. Ronaldo! Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Fred. Could pull one back here. Bruno Fernandes. McTominay. On to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Rashford. Disappointing pass. Rhys James. Conte has it. And just five minutes remaining. Determined defending. Sancho. And unable to keep possession. Now can they counter clinically? And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And Goro Conte. On to Jorginho. And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. And a good performance, as we've come to expect from N'Golo Conte. What did you make of what you saw from him? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.